right off the bat, I'm gonna apologize for this video not being my uh, $200 budget build video that is coming. Don't worry, I haven't forgot about it. Um, I've just been really busy. I haven't even had time to play games. And if you guys know me, then you know that I, I need to play some Left 4 Dead 2. In fact, the last two days, I haven't even played anything. Um, I've been constantly working on my truck and then my bike, then my truck again. And now I'm going to be building a computer for a guy at work, one of my coworkers. And uh, once again, this is putting off the $200 budget build. The computer is finally done. I went and got the 8 gigs of RAM for it. Um, I've just been spending ridiculous amount of times installing all the games. And uh, those are finally all installed, though some of them still need their first time boot up updates, which sucks. Um, but I'm gonna start doing the benchmarking and hopefully get the video filmed this weekend and get it up for you guys But for now we're gonna kind of do a little bit of an unboxing and what I've been up to um, as far as pickups So this guy has uh, He wants a computer built now. He is not a gamer at all. He doesn't even want a graphics card So um, let's get that right out the way right off the bat He doesn't even want a freaking graphics card, which is fine with me. Not everyone's a gamer You don't have to be a gamer to want a computer, um, but he does want something fast um, something that he doesn't really have to worry about upgrading because honestly the computer he originally had he hands to me He's like hey, can we upgrade this and it had a Pentium 4 in it, and I was like no um, It's way too old. You know what I mean? It's a Pentium. It's just what was that computer like 12 years old there? There was no way I was like is you might as well just build a new computer because you're gonna upgrade everything your hard drive He had an 80 gig hard drive in there surprisingly 7200 rpm, which was actually kind of funny and SATA um, but uh, either way, um, we're going to be building him a whole new computer. Um, once again, 80 gig hard drive was enough for him, so I didn't go super big. No graphics card here, but I did get some steels, and there it is. So we got a 240 gig SSD. Um, this is Team Group. Uh, they make decent RAM. I've never had a problem with their RAM. So his budget was roughly the $300. Spend a little more if I need to, um, simply because he said he doesn't want a crap computer. If you need to spend a few couple bucks extra here and there to make it better in certain areas, by all means do. So 240 gig, I was going to get him the 120, but like I said, uh, spend the extra 20 bucks to make sure he has double the space. Alrighty, next is this. Um, Cooler Master Elite 10, so or 110 or whatever. So, um... I, I've never fucking used this case. Um, the motherboard I have chosen is technically a micro ATX motherboard, um, so I had to look for a compatible case. Um, it's one of those really small uh, micro ATX motherboards since he doesn't need a graphics card. Um, I'll pull this off the desk so I can just pull it out of the box. Um, since he doesn't need a graphics card, uh, we won't be needing that two, two slot expansion and I'll show you guys what I mean if you don't know what I mean. This is a mini ITX case, um, but there are some clearances you need to know if you do want to fit one of those motherboards into a mini ITX case. So this is the case right here. Um, I actually talked with uh, the guy that I do my uh, used to do until um, he stops being super freaking busy. Our show is on hold, but when he comes back, um, you know, Mike, uh, adopted Mike here, he did a review on this case, and I need a screwdriver. Alright, he got my screwdriver. Well, yeah, adopted Mike, um, I asked him, hey, do you think this micro ATX motherboard will fit in here? In fact, at the back of the case, it looks like there's a little bit extra room for a, uh, extended cooler, like triple slot style card, so you might even be able to technically drill or cut out the back area here. I'll show you guys as soon as I'm done taking off the cover here. Um, and actually put an expansion slot so you would have three bays. So technically you could rock a graphics card with some slight modding in this case, which is actually kind of cool. Maybe I'll do that as a future video. Um, so we got our fan filters, uh, one fan filter. So what you need to look for as far as clearances go is a micro, a mini ITX case, if I am correct, it's hard to see in here. Um, is going to be 6.7 inches by 6.7 inches. Now this case extends a little bit, or motherboard will extend a little bit further, about half an inch further, so about seven or seven and a half inches wide. But it is also um, about an inch longer too, so it's like a seven by seven ish, 7.5 by 7.5. Um, if you have your mini ITX case with dual um, PCI slots, it will fit just fine. Um, if it has one PCI slot, you might want to check the clearance of the inside of the case and you will not be able to use anything in that slot. Um, but the main clearance I needed was the clearance um, going this direction, from the I.O. plate to the front of the case. And the reason why is because that motherboard is slightly longer. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, put this aside. So that's the case. It's the Cooler Master Elite 110. Um, and moving on next to the real good stuff, which is right here. 
Um, this is basically the box that should have the remainder of his parts, I'm hoping. Uh, this all came in today, and I don't know exactly what would be missing from this. So, let's fucking unbox the shit out of all this stuff here. Uh, we see, so we got, oh, by the way, um, I went and bought Crucial Ram because, uh, you know, that's just how I roll after I told them I wouldn't buy the Ram anymore. There it is, right there, bought the Ram. So, that was a lie. Um, and there's only 4 gigs of DDR4 here, and if you guys are wondering, you'll see why there's only 4 gigs in a minute. Um, we have a Rosewill Wi-Fi card, because he does use Wi-Fi. We have a CPU cooler, which is a Rosewill cooler, which we'll open up in a sec so you guys can see what that looks like. The power supply is a 400 watt EVGA power supply. And last but not least is the motherboard, which I'm pretty sure is the one I featured in a build before. It is, it is the cheapest. Uh, 1150 socket motherboard you can get pretty much so if you guys can see it is a slightly bigger um, Basically mini ITX it is classified as micro ATX because it does have the extra expansion slot here And that brings me to what I was saying um, Because that cooler master case actually has an extra space right here for kind of a triple slot card um, In case you have you know your standard ITX you could technically cut out the back and still have a graphics card with an extra um, X1 PCIe slot right here. So that's kind of neat, but this is what I was talking about right here. Um, normal ITX motherboards will cut off at the screw hole point right here. This one's a little bit extended further. So you need to make sure you have that clearance um, going from the IO outward. So um, I'm pretty sure the clearance will work fine. So yes, we've gone through pretty much most of the build here, the motherboard and all that good stuff. Um, and uh, we'll open up the CPU cooler real quick just so you guys can see it, power supply. And then we'll go through the meat and potato um, part of the build. The main, the main, the big kahuna. So this is just some cheap Rosewill cooler I picked up um, for the CPU. It's got a copper base plate. It was like $10, $12 or something. It's a Zalman cooler, uh, clip-on. Yeah, super cheap, just something basic. Um, because I don't have a CPU cooler and the reason why is because on Craigslist I was able to pick up 4 gigs of DDR4 and an i5-6400 So this is a 2.7 gigahertz i5 Skylake processor. Um, I paid hundred bucks for this um, So that's uh, our total build for $360 or 330 and 340 ish um, and then got to work out some other stuff. But uh, I was also able to pick this. So say we did want to make this a gaming computer and I picked a different case and power supply. I got this right here, which is a GTX 780 super clocked for $100 as well. So 200 bucks and I got the uh, RAM, CPU and the 780. We won't be using the 780 here. I honestly don't know what I'm doing with it yet. I, I bought it because it was $100 and uh, you can't really pass the deals up when they come. So maybe this will be featured in a future build, who knows. Um, but as it sits now, we have our mini ITX PC with a micro ATX motherboard and a Core i5. So um, maybe we'll go ahead and start throwing it together. I don't know if I want to show the build process. Maybe, maybe not, we'll see. So there it is, um, the micro ATX board. Um, as you can see, we had more than enough clearance here. Some cases, like I said, do not offer this extra inch of clearance. So you always want to check. Um, I was originally going to go with a, uh, oh my god, I can't remember who made the case. Um, either way, it was, a, it was the kind of glossy looking, I don't even know how to put it, rectangle dome case. They all look like that. Um, but the way they're, that they had this set up, this edge right here, it was way, way too close to the power supply. Like literally, the motherboard was edging along the power supply, so there wouldn't have been enough room for this motherboard, which is why I went with this case. Um, and as you can see, we have our dual slots here um, for our um, PCI lanes. And as you can see, all that extra space right here, you could technically put a dual slot card here and just cut out the back area. Um, if there was good enough light, but apparently there isn't. Um, but right here, there's. PCI slot one and two, and uh, let me see if we can get the light. There we go. You could cut open this spot right here to have the second part of the IO sticking out. So um, we're already kind of pushing forward with this build. I don't think I'm gonna do a build vlog completely here because um, I'm kind of in crunch time. Like I said, I've been really busy, you guys. That's why I've been slacking on the content for my channel. I really apologize for it, man. But real life comes first, sadly. And uh, um, this. 
technically is computer related, which is why I'm filming it, filming it, but this is still technically real life. This is for a friend at work, so I'm trying to get it done and have it to him tomorrow so I can just get it out of my life, and uh, then I can start working on that bad boy. But, uh, yep, I'll give you more updates as we go on.